Hey everyone, and welcome back to CJ Race Cars YouTube channel. Today I want to show you some more on Clay Cole's car. We're doing kind of a little build deal on that car and Monza's car. We haven't done much on Monza's car just because Monza posts the videos first. But we still will be posting them a few days after he does. I want to take you out there and show you what Danny and Scott have got done on Clay's car. We also got some fixturing built that uh, is really cool that holds a dual frame rail. Danny's super excited about it, so I want to show you that also. Uh, I'll also take you out here and show you just a quick little clip of Brian Markowitz's Nova. If you guys watched the last video, we showed you some updates on it. It is off the jig and it is on the ground. It looks awesome. So I'll at least show you a picture of that or a little quick walk around of that. But, but if you guys haven't gone to uh, shopcjracecars.com to get your shirts, hoodies, it's getting cold out. Uh, Corky said if enough people buy shirts, he's going to shave his hair. So let me shave his head. It's too late. It's too late. All right, so he won't shave his head, but uh, anyways, let me take you out there and we'll go see what Danny's got going on. Just want to show you guys uh, some parts that we've been building. We built a wishbone and some ladder bars for the front of Miss Misery, which is Bobby Dodgel's four-wheel drive truck. That thing, I believe it's the fastest four-wheel drive truck in the world right now. And he's trying to lighten it up. So we did a wishbone and the ladder bars sent them out today. And Eddie's been working on this. I just want to show you guys this. You know, if we had a truck, we could build it kind of how we wanted to design it. But with him sending in the parts, we had to make it exactly the same. And believe it or not, this stuff is a lot of work. It's a lot of work, right? Yeah. How long to make that? That one? To jig it and make the whole piece. Like, uh... Most of the day, almost. Yeah. Like six hours? Yeah, six, seven, seven hours. Hour. Yeah. Now, if we had the car here, or his truck here, we could probably change the mounts or something. But we have to make sure that it's exactly the same as it is. Because it doesn't have much clearances. It's four and a half inches or five inch. Uh, but have to make it exactly the same. So it's pretty tough. People don't realize they send in like a drive shaft enclosure. It takes a lot of time. You guys com comparing? What? Right there. Skinny? Solid. I mean, let me one punch in your belly. Yeah. Go ahead. You ready? Straight off? Yeah, straight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to. It is. Boom. Why? Why? You look I, just, I just ate. Uh, my oh, yeah, that's, that's bad. That's bad. We're just showing him this titanium me? stuff. You know that Bobby Dodger? Yeah, the that 4x4? That's, he's, he's, dude, he's got like everything we make in titanium on that thing now. That thing's fast. It's been like 80s, yeah, I think. Uh, not, I think 91 or something. 91? It's fast. Yeah, it's weird because it's like a 4x4 deal. Yeah. So that's the old one. This is a new one. That's just an unfortunate. Uh, these? What is that? What is that? It's uh, like a bolt it on the rear end in case the drive shaft breaks or something. For That's a pretty small drive shaft. For the front. Small. Oh, okay. Four-wheel drive deal. So should make your new we tank. should make your new car four-wheel drive. Yeah. If it ever gets started. <laughs> what car you make it for next year? I can't say. On the video. Come here. Yeah, top secret. Top secret. All right, everyone. We're over here with Danny. And this is Clay Cole's 69 Camaro. And I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I think last time we showed you, it was just the lower part. We had the four link brackets and the uh, two little 45 gusset deals in the bottom. Since then, uh, I think I told you guys, because we've kind of duplicated a lot of the stuff for the next uh, two cars after this are gonna be 69 Camaros. So Danny's spent the time now and he's made the seat bar and the main hoops and the cross members for three cars. So you got, Basically, all the hard bars already bent for the yeah, next. Yeah, lower cross member is bent, uh, pretty much like it needs to be. Uh, main hoop is bent, but bottom runs a little long, so we can just notch it when the time comes for that particular car. And the back seat thing, bar there, I've got it. I haven't bent them the other two yet, but they're not that hard to bend. It's just a little. Got them all cut and polished and and sitting back there, so that'll make the next two cars that go on a jig that are both 69 Camaros go a lot faster. We have all the fixtures and jigs and we spent the extra time on this one. Uh, we don't usually do that because we don't usually get the pleasure of building multiple of the same cars. No, this is a little different. Yeah, so it'll be nice. The next one's gonna be um, the same, the Pro Charge Hemi deal, same motor location, same everything. So it'll really make it nice uh, being able to do all the same stuff. Obviously still a lot of labor, but it's a lot less than having to do the next car being a, a one-off and having to redo, you know, figuring out the body and, and everything else. So with that being said, since the last video, he's done the main hoop, the seat bar, uh, all the four-link stuff. You can see he did um, 
This dual frame rail here, he's done some of the uprights and some of the gussets are in. This, this bar here is not in yet, but it goes, uh, yep, pretty much like that. And then there's another bar that runs up over there. there and back to here. That's in the process of being done. It's just not there yet. This, this, this is the, that one is like almost half done. Yeah. The reason the driver's side dual frame rail is not in yet on this car compared to Monza's, this car is four inches narrow on the rocker. So to get the width we want in the back, the driver's side dual frame rail has to have a little tiny jog in it. So that one will go in after he finishes up these gussets and stuff. He'll do the other frame rail and um, jog it around a seat and all that and get the seat mounted and stuff. But yeah, the wider car. Yeah, the wider the car is. Both sides are identical. They go. Could, they make this bend and just go straight back. Yep. This one over here will go back and then it will angle in at a steeper angle than this one does. Like it might go into about here. And then in this general area here, then it will bend back again and run almost straight back into it. And that allows for the seat clearance that yeah. we don't have with the narrower rockers. Yeah, it just depends. Uh, like he just said, how wide the cars are, what seat you use, a lot of stuff like that. So on the other car, depending on how wide it is, sometimes this bar will be bent or this bar here will have a little kick in it uh it, it just all depends the passenger side's obviously easy and we started making the frame rails a little bit wider because some people are going to liberties now and especially some of the seven speed liberties and stuff are really wide and they're super long i think it's almost i think it's almost 40 inches long I a know, seven speed I liberty quite a bit longer yeah and it's 13 inches wide so we got to really keep the frame rails spread apart as much as we can but also making it where the driver's comfortable. You got to be able to yeah, fit in the car. So spread back here as much. <clears throat> well, that's for strength also. But and with the seat, wanting you not to spread it, so you're right. kind of fighting it where you've got to get the maximum you can both directions. Right. Yep. Got to keep the driver comfortable, but also got to be able to fit the parts in there that people are running. So we could do this car's only going to have a turbo 400 right now. That's the plan, non lockup, which is a little bit shorter than a lockup, but. It, for the amount of work that it would take to change that down the road if you wanted to put a liberty we might as well just build them all to fit a liberty and be oh, done with yeah. it yeah you'd, you'd have to just do away with all the double it'd frame be a, it'd be a whole double complete disaster for sure so the way to do it is we just build them all wide enough for liberty and call it a day that way if they want to change it they can and we try to build it for a big driver i think we said in the last video we have a certain height that we like to see from the top of the frame rail to the bottom of the hoop, bottom of the funny car cage that we like to see to make sure a taller driver will fit in it. If the driver's a little shorter, you could always pour in the seat. That's, um, a, that's a very challenging measurement. It is, it's These tough. These cars don't, they don't have a lot of room from like the, the hoop, to top of the hoop to where you're gonna be in the seat, so. Yeah, there's a lot of variables. Sometimes you gotta lean the seat a little more. Yeah, sometimes you, you sometimes you gotta duck the seat down in there and bend those tubes around the seat. And if you're seven foot tall, but, you got a problem. If you're seven foot tall, you'd have to do a lot of stuff and just drive with your knees you in your face. You the roof and just stick just, your head out the top and you can just kind of look out. <laughs> like a little periscope. A little funny car cage up there and you just kind of look Like out. a little periscope, right? Yeah. Little. yeah, just look down the racetrack. <laughs> but, oh, and I wanted to show you guys Danny's new jig fixtures that we just got. He's excited about them, and, well, we're all excited about them. They're fun. Oh, I just don't get to use them. They are making life so much easier when you put Danny, that where's the old jig at? Run the old jig over. Let's show them the old jig. Oh, they've yeah. probably seen yeah, it if they watch like videos. It worked. Yeah, I mean, we built a lot of cars with that thing. But we needed two of them. But we needed two of them. Yeah, we only have one. So to hold the dual frame rails, if you can see the dual frame rails are a little bit to the outside of the frame rails, the reason for that is is that some of the mechanical fuel pumps on the blower cars, uh, pro charge cars, whatever, need that clearance. You could move it in or out. There's no set number. I've seen cars all different widths. That's what works for us. So that's what we do. But it's, it, it looks like a lot, but it's what is it, about three eighths? Outside. It's just barely over three eighths outside yes. of tube compared, like this is the outside of this tube is about three to the lower seven sixteenths of an inch farther out than the outside of this tube. Yeah, so it's not much. It looks 25 like 25 outside to outside on the, top, on the rail. Yep. This so, is what we used to have. This is our old jig, and like Danny said, it, it worked. We just had some notches in there. That kept our separation. You can see it yeah. uh, lines up it, there. It lines up with it. But this was kind of a pain, and like he said, we needed two of them, we only have one. So now we have these fixtures that Eric made. Uh, Eric's, man, Eric's killing it on these jigs. He's made our lives a lot easier. But they clamp to the bottom. You can rotate them uh, however you want. If you wanna make these wider, 
or you can make these closer together farther apart some people like them taller some people around shorter some people angle them you could do whatever you want really the good thing is you just leave these caps off the top get this where you want it clamped on the bottom danny set all these up either yesterday i think yeah got all these set up left the clamps off the top he put his bend in there and then they just they just snap right into the jig and and line up in the back i mean it really makes life a lot easier danny's life a lot easier yeah what this not only does it take the caps off when you're bending it you just sit it in the saddles and it holds pretty good but it can still rotate right so you got to hold it but when you want to hold it somewhere you just put one cap on it and just barely snug it down now that locks that right mm. where you want to where you can like line up where you have to make your knot turn it, yep. it moving all over <clears> on you <throat> and then when you finally got it done you just lock the caps down while you're doing all this gusset work mm -hmm. yeah so we really like these we have one more uh jig getting made right now for the back that'll hold like the tube that goes above the rear end that's another big uh fixture that we need that we kind of have an older deal now and danny will be happy to get yeah, a new it, one it's, it's unique too yeah it's, it's just tougher to set up now that we have a table with the holes that are uh six inch hole pattern all the way through we can really make some pretty cool stuff that it definitely makes the job go a little bit less stressful and yeah. also a little more accurate and a little quicker a little quicker for sure so i think that's it for clay cole's car we'll update you guys on each build about every week that way you, there's a good amount of stuff we don't want to update you every time every time danny notches one side of a tube we could do a video every time you notch one side of a tube you can do a video sometimes if people want to see how you notch a tube like we should you. do that and pick, how you bend stuff yeah pick a fairly simple tube that's not too bad that not just straight but something that's got some angle to it and you know time lapse deal where i'm working on it because you wouldn't want to watch a video of me like for an hour trying to make one piece <laughs> yeah so on average we're going to do a video about every week on this build we'll show you one on monza's here pretty soon but just wanted to give you guys an update on this and we'll do one again next week daniel had the funny car cage in here in the back of this one started another frame rail in and we'll show you what we're talking about with the seat once we get that in yeah there. i'll be running around with either here there here there there here whatever i, yeah. I have my, i have a path here <laughs> yeah him and him and scott running the whole thing over here just running around like crazy building these cars like like little elves santa's elves in here just knocking them out Christmas three. How many more? You, how many more of these you got to do? About twenty. I don't know, homie. I don't even want to come. <laughs> we it's won't even. We, it's job security. Isn't I wouldn't even tell Danny how many we got because I don't want to get them worked hey, up. All I can do is when I one comes do. off, I'll just put another one on there and he'll just get started. Hey, I, I got one speed. I set it right there and I just go at it. That's it. One speed. Yeah, if you want to upshift, I'm sorry. If you want to downshift, I don't like doing that either. You just got to keep steady. That's it. The quality, yeah. the quality yeah. is what's important. The quality will never. We suffer. keep, we keep the quality, and that, and that's we'll do it as fast as we can with the quality that we want. That's right. That's it. All right, everyone. That's it for this video, and we'll keep you guys posted next week. Thanks for watching.